<laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Uh oh. Oh gosh, pull up, pull up! What's the controls on this thing? Hello learners, welcome to Trick Science. In the Super Mario franchise and the upcoming Paper Mario The Origami King game, Bowser and sometimes his henchmen, or kids, I think, are still seen flying around in these clown cars that look like someone attached a toy boat propeller to Grandma's oddly painted flower pot. So how the heck do these things work? What are these Koopa clown cars made out of? Where they're sturdy enough to take a beating, and yet are light enough so that their strangely small propellers can keep them airborne, let alone give them the thrust to move around freely. For flying machines like helicopters, when their blades spin, it causes the air above the blades to move faster, lowering the air pressure. With the resulting lowering of the air pressure above the blades, the air pressure below the blades is now higher, causing a lifting force to occur. If this lifting force is equal to the weight of the object, in this case the clown car, then the car will simply hover. When the lift force created is greater than the weight of the object, then it will begin to ascend upwards. Two ways to make a helicopter ascend faster is either to increase the length of the blades, or to make the existing propellers rotate faster, causing a greater difference in air pressure and thus a faster lift. Looking at the length of the blade on Bowser's most recent clown car iteration, that thing is pretty darn small, being at most three-fourths the length of the car, meaning that it must have to move lightning fast just to keep Bowser's overly spiked shell in the air. But how fast exactly? To know this, we have to figure out the weight of King Koopa himself and the weight of Bowser's nigh indestructible circus car. Looking at a Nintendo-approved, apparent life-sized poster for the Super Mario universe, Mario's height is shown to be 5 feet 1 inches, putting Bowser's height at 8 feet 7 inches. Bowser's weight is another story, as there is no official report from Nintendo, or anywhere for that matter, Smash Bros excluded that says he weighs 135 pounds due to the force acquired for knocking him back, on how much the character weighs, with his spiky shell and goth bracelet included. With really no credible sources on Bowser's actual weight, we can at least look for a reference from another heavyweight Mario character. That's right, Donkey Kong! Donkey Kong is officially put at 6 feet 1 inches, and thanks to his final battle in Donkey Kong 64, his weight is given to be 800 pounds. Now we can safely assume that Bowser's weight is somewhere around Donkey Kong's. If we went off of what Bowser's weight increase would be using the CDC's body mass index, Bowser's muscle-clad body could be estimated to weigh around 920 pounds. But that's assuming his anatomy is the same as Donkey Kong's, which it isn't, as they're clearly different species. Some sites, however, put Bowser's weight at being 660 pounds, while others say he's around... 2,600 pounds? Really? I mean, I guess it could make sense based on the massive weight of his incredibly tough and thick shell, as turtle shells can weigh anywhere from 17 to 40 percent of their body weight. But again, these numbers speculating Bowser's weight are from non-official sites. All that we do know is that regular non-adrenaline-induced Bowser is most likely between 800 and 1,000 pounds. Not being too far past that, because while he's taller than Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong has some pretty massive arms that certainly closed the added weight gap with that green shell and neck collar. Next, using Bowser's newest Koopa Clown car from Paper Mario, the Origami King as our car of interest, which is actually the same car used in most of the previous Mario games since 2009, if not the beginning, except in this world it's paper, which would probably make the lift force required to levitate Bowser and his paper clown car almost nothing, except for the fact that the propeller is also made out of paper, which would make it still have to put in quite a bit of force to lift Bowser and his car anyways. Uh... Anyways, continuing on, Bowser's Koopa Clown Car, based on how durable it is and the many contraptions that it can house and deploy, is most likely made out of steel, with stainless steel that is used in auto manufacturing having a density of 8,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Bowser, who is about twice as tall as he is wide, pretty much fills up the inside of the car, so we can roughly estimate that the diameter of the car is around 1.31 meters. The car itself is shown to be about three-fourths 
use of a complete spear, while being around 6 inches or 0.15 meters thick. From all of this, we can calculate that the mass of the clown car is 6,000 kilograms, or 13,228 pounds. Using Donkey Kong's weight as our closest reference for Bowser and adding it to the weight of the car, the clown car's mighty toy propeller would have to overcome a force of 58,412 newtons, which finally brings us to how fast the propeller would have to rotate just to keep Bowser and the car in the air compared to her normal helicopter. The green propeller, which looks to be about three-fourths of the diameter of the car, has its blades pitched at what appears to be a 45-degree angle, with each blade being twice as long as it is wide, would have to spin at 4,300 revolutions per minute to keep all 14,028 pounds of Bowser and his Koopa clown car afloat in the air. To put all this in perspective, a normal helicopter rotor on average spins its blades at 450 revolutions per minute. Bowser's rotor spins nearly 10 times faster than that, which is no surprise seeing how small it is, but it is surprising that he doesn't just blow Mario and company away or at least turn them deaf every time they show up to stop him. So my prediction for the new Paper Mario the Origami King game? Bowser becomes an anti-hero as no one steals Peach but him and shreds the Origami King to pieces using the insanely dangerous piece of flying tech he's created. Genius. Anyways, that's just some lovely science. Trick science! See you learners on the flip side!